Sport is big business, and critically, I can't think of a better forum to come to where the controllers of money. I, as I came through, I saw a figure, I'm not sure, it said 148 billion dollars or euros invested in Africa by this forum and those associated since 2018. Wow, sitting on so much money. Sport is surely the biggest growth area of business in the world, sports, sports nutrition. So I've come to see whether I can't appeal and sell sport and the second biggest sport in the world, in my view, rugby, to the investors, the custodians of this wonderful forum and see whether we can't start something. What I hope is that I would have brought a different perspective. <clears throat> it's always been the story of my life. Why follow what everybody does? Why say what everybody does? But to come in there and say to people that this is an opportunity that maybe you haven't looked at. This is an opportunity that maybe you have thought about in a Western context, yet it is sitting at home. Because first and foremost, you have the product. You're not trying to make something where you don't have the product. You have the best product in the world. What you now need to do is fashion it, invest in it, support it, and it will then start yielding you returns. I'm not asking you for a favor. I'm saying you'll make more money investing in sport in Africa than you will investing in other areas in other parts of the world. So sport is big business. When you're looking at how to make money and you take a medium term look at it, surely you need to invest in excellence. Mm -hmm. Do you have the product, the athletes? Yes. Mm -hmm. Are they the best? Yes. Is it what the global market is interested in? Yes. Surely this must be the way that we look at ourselves. Then the principles upon which we operate of respect, yep. solidarity, teamwork, etc. Surely they are components that we need to invest in the, in the kids, in the young people. I, I was here a few months ago and I met the Minister of Sports here, an extraordinary gentleman. And his philosophy here in Morocco was to invest in the youth grassroots programs, because the kids are our future. In 2040, 2050, we'll be 40% 40, 40 of the global population will yeah. be based here in Africa. Mm -hmm. And I say to the people here today, be the first and be different. Because everybody lends and does something in a particular way doesn't mean you should do it. Understand the opportunity that is there. Forget about what I'm saying and look at 1.4 billion people. Yeah. Forget yeah. about what I'm saying and look at the world champions that we are. Mm -hmm. Forget about what I'm saying and say that you're in this extraordinary country of, of Morocco. I, I must get invited here more. Um, and go back to the last World Cup where they were not meant to do so well. And they did. And they did. And they reached the semi-final. And I say congratulations to Morocco. But also to those who followed closely after. Mm -hmm. Senegal, Cameroon even my own country Ghana. of Ghana, yeah. et cetera. So we are world champions. We're coming to the Olympics, and I'm sure you will see Kenyans and Ugandans and Somalis and the rest conquering the whole world on small budgets. Mm. The future of sports surely is Africa, and the future is for the brave, but the brave are the ones who take the decisions today. We need to change the models, change the criteria, Understand that money at the end of the day is what we will make. Our shareholders will be happy. But rather than making it for somebody else, gold, no gold, refineries, oil, not enough, oil refineries, cocoa, but no chocolate factories. Yeah. We've got the best athletes. Let's not wait for somebody else to take over and do it, and then we are now working for them. I'm excited today to talk about sport at the Africa Investment Forum and the role of sport in driving economic change and development. We will explore opportunities for investment and discuss ways to promote economic development through sport and leverage sport as a tool for change. It gives me great pleasure, immense pleasure, to be talking today to you. The gold refineries, you have the oil refineries, you have the chocolate factories. See, when we put money into rugby or sport on the continent, 